be assertive, be adventurous, be yourself, and be bold. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. Prestige Living Podcast. So with that, who do you want to be? Hello, welcome to Prestige Living. This is Jay O'Brien with another segment of Be Bold. You know, it's very natural to have thoughts of self-doubt and our self-talk routines every morning, every night, especially when we're trying to go to sleep, do a damn good job at reminding us of how we are not good enough. And it becomes difficult to tune out. You think about it constantly. You compare yourself to other people. And I know there are a lot of people out there that say, I have no regrets you know, I don't regret a single thing in my life because it's all brought me to where I am now. And I mean, that sounds pretty utopian to me. And at least for me, it seems very unrealistic. There's plenty that I regret. I mean, I love where I am today, but could it have been done without certain mistakes that I've made? I would say probably yes. However, It's very important to catalog and know how to catalog those regrets and past decisions you've made in order to evaluate them for what they are or what they were. You know, it's one thing to understand a mistake, learn from it, and move on, and it's another to dwell on it and continue wishing you could turn back time to reverse it. You can't. End of story. Get over it. Move on. The thing you need to wrap your head around is today. It's right now. It's the moment you're in, not the moment you were in or the moment you're going to be in. The moment that you're in right now, this moment. Are the decisions you're making today the decisions that make the most sense for you today, at this time, during this stage of your life? That's what you really need to be thinking about. If you can perpetually live in that sort of state of mind, regrets will be so diluted because you'll be acknowledging how whatever the outcome is, was right for you in that moment. If you're being faced with major decisions that are tough to balance between your head and your heart, just simply pretend that both decisions have already been made and you're looking back on each unique outcome five years from now. This is an exercise that I do frequently. For example, if you have an opportunity to move to Spain for one year versus taking a new job that pays double your annual salary right now by staying locally, what are you going to do? Assume the result of both options. So, in five years, are you stoked to remember the experience you had in Spain? Or, are you stoked to remember that $100,000 a year annual salary that allowed you to upgrade from your 3 Series to your 5 Series? Then, whichever sounds blatantly more obvious to you, that's the option you go with today. So, if you're not enjoying things that make up your life as you live and breathe today, then change those things and know that you can change those things. And if there are outcomes of situations out of your control, which there always will be, so be it. Move on. What's the point of allowing your body to expend energy on situations that cannot be controlled anyway? It's just a way to monopolize your mind down a path that leads to a void you're already aware of. Life is for living. The point is to learn how to be decisive Make those decisions, live with those decisions, and not dwell on what could have or should have been after the fact. Be assertive, be adventurous, be yourself, and be bold. If you would like to be on the Prestige Living Podcast or know someone that would be a great guest, Go to www.prestigelivingpodcast.com. We'd love to hear your story. 